Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jolif. Listen, I'm back again, y'all. Y'all know I just celebrated my birthday November 3rd, so I'm 29. And I just been thinking like I'm 29, I'm single, like what's going on? Like you know, I'm cute, you know, people always trying to like, you know, but we're gonna get to that. But let's get into the video. So this video got to do with this is few reason why let me turn this down this is for me this is my opinion it can be different reason but let me know down below in the comment section what do you think is the reason because child i'm tired of being single y'all like this shit is getting crazy like i'm not in no rush i'm not rushing for shit but i just feel like these are the reason why like I don't want to say LGBT people because I don't know so much of the other people. I know so much of my people, like the gay people, like the men, you know, gay men relationship. I know they like, yeah, I got trans friends. I got, you know, lesbian, you know, girlfriends and stuff like that. But, you know, I don't know when it comes to relationship. I don't know what's going on. So, um, so I just want to do a video and just based on my like thoughts and my opinion on why I feel like, you know, why one, some of us don't last in relationship. Um, two, like, it's like a low rate of LGBT relationship lasting, like, it's very low. Like, we don't last in relationship. Even if we, even if we are in a relationship, we don't value, well, the ones I've been seeing, the relationship I have been seeing, like, it's not like, they don't cherish that shit. So I just feel like we need to, you know, there's some things we need to change. Like, so that's why I'm doing this video. So let me know down below in the comment section um, if you can relate or if you cannot relate to the um, to the video. So one one thing I feel like, so I say it's a few reasons. So I don't know how many reasons I'm gonna give. I'm just gonna say a few reasons. So wherever I stop, you can add on or you can subtract. You let me know. But one of the reasons I feel like gay relationship, like relationship in general, I don't care if it's like you boyfriend, or, you know, boyfriend or y'all just like, or y'all got married or whatever. Because I know a lot of people who, I know, I know a lot, lot of relationship of people who got married and they're not, and they're doing the opposite. So one, I feel like one of the reasons is cheating. Like it's a lot of cheating within relationship. Like within like the gay relationship, it's a lot of cheating. It's a lot of like I don't know what's the professional word for cheating. The people they be using, yeah, niggas be having an affair and stuff like that. It just it's crazy. Like I just face a lot of cheating. Cause I feel like once you got once you get married, once you get married, I feel like you should cherish like cherish your marriage. And within the LGBT community, like, people don't do that. Like, niggas be in relationship and they still be texting my phone or texting people's phone that I know or just be on apps. And I feel like why you want to be in a relationship, you understand, if you not, if you still want to be trying to fuck somebody else, like, so, cheating. And it's not, so, I'm going to get to that too, because sex is another one, but we're going to get to that part. But I feel like cheating, like in this different form of cheating, you don't, it don't have to be sex, because a lot of people will be texting, sending pictures, and you know, liking stuff on Instagram or social media, like TikTok, or some people in a relationship, but they still got Jack on their phone, like the end. It's a, it's a, we're gonna get to that part. But it's a lot of ways people can cheat, and I feel like all them ways, some gay people be doing it and i feel like that's why a lot of gay relationships don't last yeah it might it's my last but it's so it's toxic like what's the point you still you call yourself being in a relationship with somebody and you cheat on them like or you you know i don't that don't that don't make no sense to me um so yes i feel like one reason is definitely cheating like they don't want to be with one person like, I ain't never seen, well, me for now. I ain't never seen no gay people who want to be with one person. Like, that's wild for me, bro. Like, that's crazy. So some days I be thinking like, what the fuck is going on? 
But yes, cheating is one of it. Um, and the second thing is the party. Like, bitch, we party too much. Well, it's not all. It's not all LGBT. Like, well, it's not all gay people. It's not all gay people who love to party. Some people start partying at an like early age. This good shit out of me. And some people like started late. And some people just don't stop. So, but I just feel like it's a lot of partying within the community. Community that will make you like, if you're in a relationship, what's the point of you doing it? Like, so it's a lot of partying, like the drugs. When I say partying, like the drugs, niggas still going to clubs, barroom. Uh, and that's another thing too that play a huge part within like a relationship. Like niggas get in relationship and they get in barroom and they just get twisted with the whole mindset of of the whole barroom and fit to realize they are in, still in a relationship. So I just feel like if you, if you are in a relationship, yes, you can still be in barroom, but you still need to like put your relationship on like a pedestal where people cannot disrespect your relationship. Like, so I just feel like it's a lot of partying, like, because if you're in a relationship, why are you out here doing drugs with random niggas and you know what these people do? Because um, after the drugs, bitch, the, ne the next thing you're going to do is have sex. Like, or the next thing is going to lead to that. So I just feel like it's a lot of partying and they can lead to, like, a relationship being ruined. Because a lot of my relationship got ruined you know, true, you know, parties, like going to parties. And especially if you were like, that's what I'm saying, it comes with the barroom too. If you know in the barroom scene or people know you, so you go out, you know, you're going to get attention or it's not even so much of a barroom, but just being out in general. Like if you're attractive, people know you and you go out, people going, you know, so after that, if you are in a relationship, you got to like step back from like, the gear scene, like the scene, like the barroom scene, the club scene, just doing, like, if you want to do drugs, y'all do it home, but as far as, like, saying you want to keep your relationship, yeah, stop all that, like, stop all, like, going to parties, like, you can go, to, you can go to parties once in a blue moon, like, don't get me wrong, because, you know, I still be going out, and no shit, the party be nice, but just know it's limit to the party like go home don't do the after party because at the after party bitch that's why all the little shits start to happen because after the after party people want to go home with somebody and if you're not like you high sometimes you high and your cho choices of drugs that you're doing it might put you to like it might you know plus in it plus at the end in it at the end of the day, we are like, we are men. So we're not thinking like, we're not thinking like up there sometimes. We're thinking down there. So bitch, you high, bitch. You see, you know, the next thing you know, like girl, y'all fucking. So I feel like drugs, clubs, like going to clubs, like especially ballroom. Like, be in a relationship, take a break from that. Like, focus on your relationship. Because once you people know that you are in a relationship with somebody that they want, or if you fucking somebody that everybody want, they can be like a huge thing. Like, so I just take a break from that. Like, you can still go out, you can still party, but don't do it how you would usually do it on like a everyday basic. Or how you would do it when you when you was not like in a relationship. That's the only way I feel like you can keep a relationship. But other than that, like if you keep partying, like that would ruin your relationship. So cheating, number one, cheating would definitely ruin, the, that's why I feel like that's one thing would ruin your relationship, cheating. The second thing is, you know, partying, like going to too much parties, like clubs, like just, all like the club, the drugs, doing drugs, like bar rooms, um, you know, just anything that's underneath, like you gotta, you know, do, you know, just having a good time. Like, so 
So yes, and I feel like another thing too is communication. People in a relationship will not communicate. Like people in a relationship, like a lot of gay relationship that I have seen and some relationship that I have been into, like, I'm not shit. I, I told you I'm single, so I'm not taking, I'm not saying, oh, you know, I'm better because I'm not. Like, that's why I told you this channel is for us to to share, you know, our thoughts, like, you know, to share different ideas, to see how we can better, you know, we can improve within the community. So, um... Um, yeah, so one cheating party, too much parties, like you went to parties, like clubs, drugs, ballrooms, like, you know, you're doing just, just too much. So the, another thing I said, communication, like talking to each other, like, I just feel like a lot of us, our egos, it just be too much, like. Like it'd be too much to the point where we would be feeling like it, you know, we too cute or we getting too much attention to feel like we can communicate. Or sometimes our pride be in the way to, to the point where we feel like, all right, what's the, you know, and I feel like that's fucked up. Like, communicate. Like, if you feel like you want to shoot some things or you don't need to, you don't want to be bothered, talk to your partner. Like, just don't, you know, I don't feel like you can go out. To find, you know, whatever in somebody else where you can communicate and y'all can like talk about it. So I feel like communication, like that's one thing I feel like we need to do, start doing. Um, yeah. Yeah, another one. Um well I guess this one kind of fall underneath like cheating, but sex, like <laughs> I know it's crazy, crazy, crazy to say this because a you know we we gay like plus bitch we niggas so I just feel like sex like sex do play a major part like every time you turn around it's some kind of sex it's so much sex going on in like the gay community it don't make no sense like every second somebody want to have sex. Like bitch, y'all don't get tired. Like I don't understand. Yeah, I would never understand this. Like, trust me, I like to, you know, I like to cut up, but child, please. Not how they cut up. I mean, I'm all part of day, but child, please. Like, the way gay people cut up, like, it should not be how we do. Like, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't do all day. I be chill. But, um, it's just a lot of sex. Like, it's a lot of apps, hookup, you know, it's a lot of open, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, people being in relationship and we still try to want to, like, hook up with you. Like, people being in relationship. Like, you know these people in relationship and they will still reach out to you just so you can cut up. Like, and I just feel like that's why a lot of, like, things just don't be going right. And that's why I just want to, like, well, I've been chilling, like, I haven't been cutting up with nobody. I've been trying to, like, keep myself, keep my, keep myself to myself, keep me to myself. I don't, I'm trying to make that shit make sense, but I haven't been cutting up. Like, I just want to keep my soul, my spirit, because it just be a lot of shit. Like, because I be feeling like if I know I cut up, I know he like to cut up, he probably kind of wouldn't, you know, it just be so much. So it's a lot of sex. Like, and I just feel like if you're in a relationship, why you want to bring a third person into the relationship? That's a lot. Of, that's it's a lot of, of that in within like the LGBT like community. Like everybody want to fuck the next main person. Like everybody want to fuck the next main. You know, that's just to me. It's just too much. Like everybody want to fuck the next man. Like to the point where me and personally, I don't went to a party. I don't in the same room I don't have sex with almost like everybody in the damn room oh that sounds horrible but I mean I'm just telling, telling you my life story telling y'all you know the truth and that's what I'm saying like to the point where that's like how can you have a relationship because now you already had sex with this person you have sex with that person like that's kind of like it's too much so I just thought we just need to start saving ourselves for like 
you know, and cherish marriage. Like, we need to go back to cherishing marriage. And there's a lot of, like, everybody is going to be a porn star. Yeah, when I, you know, you know, when we was younger, I just, you know, yeah, everybody want to we do a little, you know, it's cute watching porn. But I just feel like if that's not for you, don't do it just because it's like it's for the money. Because at one point, I, you know me, I had the only thing. But I had to realize, like, what am I doing this for? Like, and I realized I was doing it for the money. You understand? I really was doing it for the money. Like, yeah, I like to make content. I like to be, you know, I'm a Scorpio. Yeah, you know, like I said at the time. But when I really thought about it, I'm like, do I really want to? That's how I really want to want to be like my legacy to be. And I said, no, I don't want to be. You know, I don't want to be people to remember, remember me as like a. Even though I used to call myself a sex icon because you know I'm a Scorpio. You know, no shade. I used to be doing all that, but I had to realize like. This is not why I wanted to be, you know, remember as like when I, you know, when I'm dead and gone, like I don't want to be remember as, oh, he used to be, you know, porn, he used to be doing this, doing that. Because every now people still be asking me for my Twitter. I'm like, I don't even be on Twitter no more. Like I was doing a live and this man pulled up. He was like, oh, you out yeah, I don't see you on Twitter no more. It was on the live. I already captured it. And I just tell him that I'm trying to rebrand myself. I'm not, you know, I'm not doing it. Like, and I feel like they're all part of like growth. Cause you know, imagine you having, you want to get married one day. You find, you find somebody in your, cause if you go on Twitter, mind you, that's the nice thing. I never knew why some people get so much like on Facebook until I went on Twitter. I did not know why so many people, so many gay people get likes on. Facebook, cause I be like, what the fuck? They're not even that cute, or they're not. No well, shit. I used to be not, not to say I'm hating or whatever. I'm, I'm not trying to hate, being a hater or whatever. But I used to be like, why so? You know, why he got so much like? Like, why he should be blowing up this and the third? Like, what's going on? And when I finally like, cause I ain't had no Twitter. When I finally, finally like download Twitter, cause every time I had Twitter back then, but they had blocked my Twitter. Um, but fast forward, um, I had, you know, I haven't had a Twitter. So, you know, when I used to be on, I had Facebook, whatever. But when I finally got a new phone and I went back on Twitter, I'm like, I'm seeing people who I never thought would ever be doing like porn or sex or anything, a sex kind of thing. Like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Is this why? And when I realized that, I said, oh, so that's why he began that. More to the story is don't try to like, don't see somebody doing this that you don't know. Cause I used to be on Facebook trying to figure out why he or she. Then when I get on Twitter, I'm like, oh, this is why. Cause this nigga's here on, cause he here getting like on this picture that is not even cute. Cause he on Twitter, he bust, busting it open. Like his ass is like, it's all over the place. Like dick out, ass out. You know, it's doing too much. He doing too much. So, I had to realize that I'm like, all right, so yeah, this is not for me. You know, some people, that's where you go ahead, but I just feel it's a lot of sexing, you know, sex. I don't even know how to say the sexing, sex. Child, y'all know how that go when it comes to the English, girl. The English is there, we speaking it, and that's how it's gonna be. But, um, but it's a lot of sex, like, going on. Like, that's why I feel it's a lot of the reason why us gay people don't stay in one relationship we don't stay committed like we don't want to be i guess tied down because we all just want to be like i guess doing it because here like i said relationship niggas in relationship i had a lot of i had to stop i had a lot of experience with two people you know two people in relationship and they want me to you know and you know yeah they like i said we became cool you know they my cool friends or whatever the case might be, but I just felt weird, like, you in a relationship, like, I be thinking, like, if I leave, like, do they be, like, beefy or stuff like that? Because I would not want that, like, I would not want for somebody to be having a beef or whatever just because, you know, I don't... And mind you, I had a situation where the people I'm going to try to fight my ass, and that's a different situation, so I'm going to probably talk about it. One try to fight my ass, and the other one, child, girl, the other one, I don't know what's going on. He, no shit, he did like me, but 
I had to stop because you're in a relationship the other one don't like me but he like me because he want to cut up with me but he don't want him for me to like me I'm like it's just weird like but when I'm there he like me but when I'm not there he just be cursing me out I'm like what the fuck is going on so it just that's why I say it's not right but that's why I had to take a break I had to step back and just mm -mm. but yeah it's like it's a lot of you know, it's sex going on. So I just feel like once we slow down, trying to feel like, you know, that's the only way out is being a porn star. Cause I feel like that's the only way out is bark for gay people. That's the only way we have for them. It's either ballroom or on Twitter. And I just feel like, no, it's different ways we can like, we can do this. It's different way we can achieve whatever, you know, we want to achieve. Um, whether it's being successful, being a star, being this, being that, like whatever the case might be, it's different ways I feel like we can do. But it's also like if that's what you want to do, you know, go for it. But all, but think about it, cause it's a lot of porn star who we see, like that shit after a while play like a huge part on them. Like, cause that's not, I don't know if that's what they wanted to do, but it fucked them up. So we seen a lot of it. So, I just feel like being in a relationship, like, cause me personally, I cannot be in a relationship. I thought I could have, but I I learned from my lesson from my old relationship. I cannot be with somebody who who trick, um, who 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 escort. Now it depends. Now it depends, but I feel like I just can cause I had an episode, and I just feel like it just ruined me. And I just can't do that. Like, so based on my experience, me personally, I cannot date nobody on. I cannot date nobody on drugs, like on crazy drugs. You gotta be like on weed, bitch. I'm sorry. I can date you on drugs. I cannot date you on like. We can't talk. We cannot talk if you like. I'm not gonna say like. Escort or trekking or whatever, but if you and that's your full time job, no, like if you don't got nothing going for yourself, that's all you're doing because that's half of like half like 80 percent of the gay community, gay boys. But you know, I think our percentage it might be up more because a lot of you know, shit, gay boys, we really like a lot of them might be seen, you know, in school doing a big one so. But I feel like the little per whatever percentage that is, um, like we gotta do better because I'm a little part because I might just be smoking weed now, so and that's part of drugs. So I just feel like we just gotta like slow down and just get it together and just feel like we don't have to think, you know, sex, um. A ballroom is like the mean that's our thing to be successful now. It's not. It's different ways, it's different things we can do to become successful, as you can see right now. But um but yeah, these are a few things I feel like we need to like improve on. Um we need to like talk about, we need to like like stop, like for example, if you know somebody in a relationship, like why you wanna fuck that nigga, like stop, like let it go. Um, wait, wait your turn, wait till they're done with doing whatever the fuck they got going on. You know, that's how you set an example, but it's no role model. Like, everybody, it's like everybody for themselves. Every gay nigga for themselves. Like, and the people who's supposed to be up there, they just wanna be up there. They don't wanna, so you just gotta do what you gotta do. If you're not strong minded, people can drag you in and ruin you. So with that being said, um, don't let you know. Don't let that fuck you up because you want to be in a relationship. Like you don't want to be single for all your life. It's bad enough you being gay. You don't. You know. I mean, yes, you can have kids, but you know, you don't have no kids. Half of us don't got no kids, so. If you don't got no nigga, nigga, you gonna be by yourself. So with that being said, I just feel like we need to work on that. We need to talk about it.
spread the word. So these are a few things I just feel like us gay people, we need to like work on to improve our community. Um, and the young ones coming up, like, and we need to set an example for the young ones. It's not all about sex. It's not all about cheating. Like, it's not about partying. It's not all about ballroom. Like, like I don't know. Like, get a real job. Like, yes, I don't want to work. Trust me, I don't even want to work a real job. But I still need that to improve, to invest in whatever I got going on. You know, so I can, like, slow down from the streets. Because sometimes a 9 to 5 keep you from the streets. Trust me, I didn't. When I went back to work, when I get off the when I got off the streets, when I went back to work, that's the main reason why I really had to ground myself. Cause I felt like if I was gonna keep being in the streets, I was not going. I was not going to amount to nothing. Like I was just, I probably still gonna be in the streets by now. Twenty nine, don't have nothing. I mean, I don't got nothing right now, but at least I still got my life. That's one, and I'm grateful for that. And I still got my mindset, my brain. I lost a lot of my friends to drugs. Yes, a lot of my friends took drugs from 2019 to, to, to yeah, 2019 up to 2023, I would say. I lost, I lost people to gun violence, to drugs, so. All the reason I said, you know what, bitch, let me slow down. And that's why I even feel like we need to do more because, like, it don't make no sense. So I feel like it's few things. This is few reason why you know, y'all know I I go off. I just be ranting and venting and just carrying on and talking and just going off. But take whatever that resonate and leave the ones and leave whatever that whatever that don't resonate. You understand? Like y'all know I just talk. I be going off, coming on, and just it just be too much. But please take the one that resonate and leave the one that don't. But please subscribe to the channel. Like this video, share this video, and um, and yeah, let me know like what can I do to improve my life, improve my channel, and I gotta go.